I see you came back for me and I love that. I love it. Love the support. I love you. Thank you for staying tuned in. Thank you for being patient with me. If you are new here, I am Nejale Monet. This is like my little personal diary, okay? Explore my life with me. Get to know me. Let's relate together. Let's talk. Let's chat it up, you know? If you've been here, besties, thank you for being patient with me. I love you guys. I love y'all. Welcome to the family. Join the family. How have you guys been? How's life? How's work? How's school? How's family? How's friends? other videos i don't usually sound like this uh my energy is not usually this mellow and low low and laid back i usually got energy but when i say my throat hurts okay my throat hurt my body hurt yes i am sick so bear with me bear with me but besties you know that i'm supposed to post on saturdays and I missed two Saturdays so far. So God told me to get up. I know you were in pain, but when you get up to go take that shower, get up, go do that little video, eat, and you're gonna lay right back down. I promise. So whatever the man upstairs tell me to do, I'm gonna do that. Y'all bear with me. That's all I'm asking y'all to do. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe if you are new here. I try my best to post every Saturday. Um, I do not have a set time for my Saturdays, but I do try every Saturday. As you can see by today's title, let's go ahead and get straight into this video. That's what you're here for, to drop the knowledge in the tips. Let's get straight to it. Fire! Fire! I be so sick of you niggas, I can't do ding ding. I be so bold myself when you come and fuck me. I feel so ordinary, so when you won't round me. I want it to be kind of organized, and I want to let y'all know if I'm looking down, it's because I'm reading. I want us to be a little organized. So we starting with the tips. I'm not going to say one tip is bigger than the other. Like this is priority. This I'm not doing all that. This is the tips. And then I'm going to give y'all what I feel like y'all need to know. Now, as y'all can see, I have not had my channel long. So I am still a beginner. I am still learning. And I'm sharing with you guys because this is what it really is to be a YouTuber. Like... A content creator, this is what it looked like. Y'all just so used to seeing the videos and that, like the YouTubers, how they, y'all just watching the video because they grown so much, they learned so much. Like, the more you practice, the more you get it, right? Like, and you're just used to seeing, they got it now. It's like, it's perfected, like, it's easy, it's, it's, it's nothing. Um. So let's go ahead and start out with the tips. Number one, I say create your YouTube channel right now. You don't have to have no profile picture. Just go make an email. Go make an email just for business, for business purposes only. Go make an email, okay? So email, then go make the channel. Go to YouTube, sign in, create an account, boom, make the account. Have people start subscribing right now. I don't care if you're not posting. Have them subscribe right now. Family and friends. Family and friends to subscribe right now. You can post your, don't be embarrassed to post your channel on your Instagram right now, your social media is right now. And have people subscribe right now. Cause why not? Um, number two, do your, you listen to me. You can do research, learn, and still post at the same time. I tell my besties in mostly every video, y'all. I'm still learning, I'm still growing, and I want y'all to watch me do it. I want you to watch me get better every single time. Cause this is what it actually looks like. You just gotta pay attention. You just gotta pay attention. I still edit, I still go look up editing, I still learn how to create banners, I'm still trying to learn how to do this. Description box, everything matters. Number three. Include music in every video. I'm about to be quiet because you might have not peed this whole time. This video been rolling, there's been background music. So I'm gonna be quiet and I'm gonna turn the background music up. Y'all 
It's been there. <laughs> it's been there. Background music, the reason why I say have background music because you don't want it to be awkward silence. Let's say you gotta get up, go get something, grab something, you never know. Like, but music, it just gives it a vibe. Like, I'm vibing with you, like caring what everybody thinks. I'm gonna tell you right now. My subscribers, I wanna say if I'm correct, I'm gonna enter the picture right here. But I wanna say I'm sitting at, I am sitting at 124 subscribers. Little tinks, little tinks, right? But do not care what anybody thinks, okay? Because the more you grow, the more people that is coming with you, the more criticism that is also coming, okay? The more feedback, the more opinions. The more you put your stuff out there, the more opinions that are coming behind it, okay? Stop caring. It don't matter. What they say, if you don't want no hitters, you ain't popping. Listen to me. You know, people don't talk about people that's not doing stuff. Like, why would you sit here and talk about people that do that that don't do it? And you wouldn't. You only talk about people that get get things done. They making it happen right now. Okay. So you don't have no haters. You ain't popping. The only job of a hater, the only thing we care about, we we like the audience just a little bit. We need that ten percent. Why? Because we there there are reassurance that yo I'm doing it like. Because you're not about to be talking about my ass not doing it. Stop caring. Stop caring. And I'm talking about everything. I'm talking about the setting and public record. Don't nobody care, girl. It's not that deep. Five. Interact with your subscribers. Be interactive. In your videos, in the beginning of my video, I asked my besties, how are they doing? How's life? How's school? Etc. Etc. Be interactive. Interact with them. When they comment, interact with them. They are supporting you. That is your bestie. That is my bestie. I'm about to go chop it up with them. Like I tell my besties, DM me. You need me? DM me. Just be like, yo, I'm best. Like I'm best. I need to talk to you. Chop it up with you. I'm here. I promise. My socials is in my description box, bookie. Go look at it. Number six. Numbers don't matter. If you're going to keep paying attention to this number about how many subscribers you got and you just look at the numbers. Look how many subscribers you got. Look at your, wa your watch hours. Look how many views you got. That's going to mess with you, baby. That is going to mess with you. Stop. And if you want to look at those numbers... Look at it as a stepping stone. That's a strategy. When I say that, I mean, okay, when I drop this kind of video, I got this. This was the results, right? This was the results of this video. They like it. Did they not like it? Like, what does your audience want to see? You have to keep that in mind, okay? Be yourself, but what do they want to see? Because that matters. You got to keep them intrigued. You got to keep them here. I don't want to watch somebody that's born. The numbers do not matter. Get it out your head. And if you want to use it, use it as strategy, okay? That's it. Don't overthink it. Don't stress yourself out. Number seven, always be yourself. Do not get in front of this camera and try to be anybody you are not. Because it's very easy. I know they don't know you. Just yet, but it's very easy to tell when somebody's trying to be somebody that they're not. Why would you want to do that anyway? That's a lot of work. Every video, you got to sit here. Every time you're ready to sit in this, in this camera, you got to sit here and act like a person that you're not. That's a lot. That's a lot of energy. Then when you run into your, your, your audience, it's like you got to be that person. That's doing too much. Be yourself. Being yourself will get you there. It's people that can, can relate to you. Be yourself. Number eight, promote your channel or platforms. Listen to me, this is gonna sound annoying to a lot of people, this is gonna sound whatever you need it to be, okay? 
When I first created my channel, a lot of people say this, a lot of YouTubers and contestants, they said this, okay? When we first started our channels, we sent our channel to every contact in our phones and told them to subscribe. From there, it is now in there. They have the power to decide if they want you to subscribe or not. I know I did my part. I stayed true to myself and I put myself out there. They don't have to subscribe. I did my part. That's what I meant. Promote your channel on all your platforms. Don't be, don't be embarrassed to let your friends see how you act on the camera. Real friends is gonna stay in the camera, okay? They gonna be in the camera with you, okay? Or, okay. Number nine. Find out what's trending and post. I'm not saying every video you drop has to be a trending video, but post some, post some here and there, post some. Number 10, YouTube shorts are very helpful. They're helpful. Use them, create them, they're helpful. Number 11, thumbnails, important. You need attractive thumbnails, think about it. When you are looking at a YouTube video, it's the thumbnail and the freaking title. That's all they have, but it's a preview of your video. This is what's pulling your audience in. You want attractive thumbnails. Go to your research, go on YouTube. Look at your favorite YouTubers' thumbnails. Look at anybody's thumbnails. Go to your homepage and just look at the, just look at the thumbnails. You'll see. Number 12. A lot of people like to gatekeep this, but I'm not going to gatekeep it from you. Knowledge is power. Use tags. I'll explain tags in more depth when I go into things you need to know. But tags, important. Use them. 13. Bulk record. Okay? Bulk record. Very useful. I'll explain. We're going to go ahead and get into... Let's go ahead and get into the things I feel like y'all really need to know. Like, I know... I just pulled it up on my laptop. I've been on YouTube officially for a year. I'm not going to say it's been a consistent year, but it's been a year. Now watch the progression. Things that I feel like y'all need to know. Like I said, I've only been for a year. And I'm still learning. I'm still growing. It's always room to learn. Number one, let's talk about editing. Guys, editing is so time consuming. You have to learn the apps. You have to learn what you like, what you don't like, how to use it, how to blend it. It can be very frustrating. It can be so frustrating. <laughs> A lot of people don't do not like editing, okay? I only like editing when I feel like I'm really getting better. Like, okay, I could do this. Like, this is about to be a breeze. Like, you gotta make the editing smooth. Like, the transitions gotta be smooth, but you gotta have patience, okay? We live in a world now where you can just look up something you don't know how to do. Take advantage of that. Use that. And every, every editing software is different. <clears throat> Excuse me. Every editing software is different. Right now, I use Video Leap. CapCut Cap is a little hard for me. A lot of people like CapCut. iMovie is a no for me. I don't have an updated MacBook, so I don't use iMovie. I don't have Final Cut Pro. Um, Video Leap for me. That'll do it for me. Second thing I thought y'all need to know. Just because your family and your friends subscribe to your channel don't mean they gonna be tuned into your videos. Now your real ones, your day ones, they gonna tune in, cause why not? If you can't support yourself and they can't support you, then who? But that doesn't mean be mad, like, that doesn't mean be mad. People have lives, busy lives, okay? But everybody's not gonna be tuned in. But there is support out there, I promise you. This is a tip combo within what I feel like y'all need to know. Join Facebook groups. Facebook groups have video creator support groups. They do. Now, it can be a little tricky because 
some people do sub for sub. They'll say they do sub for sub or let's say exchange watch hours. When it comes to the sub for sub part, they can always unsubscribe later. So like, that's a little tricky, but you can always make a post and put yourself out there on a different platform, a platform for people that's actually trying to grow and support each other if it's actually supporting to me. Listen to me. I am a walking example, okay? I am a walking example. This is number three. If you are a nine to fiver, college student, or you're just out here trying to survive in general, because life is so expensive. Making time to record is gonna be a little difficult. I'm not gonna say a little, it's gonna be, a, it's gonna be difficult. It's gonna be a challenge. You're going to have to push. I just told y'all I don't feel good, okay? But the man upstairs told me, get up. I'm gonna give you this much energy for this time to do it. Go do it. Go do it. I'm here, I'm doing it, I'm pushing through right now. As hard as I can. Posting is gonna be so hard. But push through it. Push, 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 push through it. It will pay off time, will pay off consistency is key. Just go. Okay. Number four. Never knew this. Never. Okay, I didn't know this until I started watching videos. Like the one you're currently watching. YouTube tips. Da, 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 da. Like I, and so I started watching this, I didn't know this. In order for you to be monetized, monetization means that you are getting paid from YouTube. In order to get paid from YouTube, sponsorships, ads, all of that, you have to have 4,000 watch hours and, not or, and 1,000 subscribers. To get monetized, then they have to they have to verify you. You go through the process, etc. As y'all can see, I just told y'all I'm sitting at 124 subscribers, so I'm clearly not monetized. Um, but don't be trying to make. I feel like if you're going, I feel like a lot of creators can say this. If you are creating with the mindset of money, your mindset is not on the right. It's not on the right track because now you're just paying attention to numbers, 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 numbers. And that's what message you're mental. Stop. Record what you like to do. Record what you want to record. Whoever supports, supports, and whoever don't, don't. If it's meant to be, it'll be. And if it's not, it's not. It's not simple. Number five. You become a creator. Okay, so once you become a creator, you watch YouTube videos differently. Maybe it's just me, but I feel like it's not just me. You watch videos completely different. I promise you. When I say this, I mean like, if I go watch a YouTube video, I'm watching, I'm watching it to enjoy it, right? But I'm also watching how they set up the camera, where they put it at, what's the angle, what's the lighting, what's the edit, what's the transition, what's the background music, what tags did they use? I'm watching everything. I would have never watched it like this before. I'm literally dissecting and picking at this video and learning while I watch the video. So sometimes I just watch YouTube just to like sit back and do, that's like my research. That's research. I need to see, I need to learn. And I can, I wanna watch it without you telling me, I just wanna pick it up, I wanna pick up the knowledge. Number six, keep going. I don't care what is going on in life, I know Working the eight hour, nine hour, 10 hour shift, or maybe a 12 hour shift, then happen to come home and take a shower, eat, have some time for yourself, read a book, watch a show, catch an episode or two, clean up after you done cooked, clean up a little bit, straighten up, get ready for tomorrow. You have, your time is so limited, okay? It is so minimal. I don't care what's going on though, you have to record. Pick up that camera. People wanna see what you're doing. That's all they wanna see is what you're doing. Y'all, we do that every day. Shade room, that's us just scrolling to see what the fuck these rich ass people is doing. 
Social media is just us being in each other's business, okay? It's just a platform. Somebody can relate to you out there. Somebody. And that somebody is a lot of somebodies. Like, it's a group. Pick it up. Go. It'll pay off. This ties into what I was just talking about. This is number seven. Be yourself. That's all you need. Be yourself. Be yourself. Be yourself. Be yourself. That whole impersonating others and trying to be somebody that you're not is a lot of work. Is doing too much. Why? Why do you care that much? Because there's so many people I just said that can relate to you in some way. We all be living the same life, low key. It's real weird. Number eight, equipment. When I say equipment, I want to say background, everything. That's my background. If y'all watched my previous videos, I had a whole little YouTube area. I recently just moved, go tune into that video, it's right here. I recently moved, I don't have my YouTube area set up yet. This is my bedroom, my bedroom's not finished. This is just what it is right now. But I'm still, I'm still gonna record though, because me not recording because I'm trying to impress you when the next person or, or Jim, Tommy, Karen, Bill and Bob, Renisha and her friends, if I'm trying to like keep up with them or like whoever, it's going to take me a minute to record. It's going to take me a minute to get up here, build that courage to sit in front of this camera and drop this for any and everybody and they mom and daddy to see, okay? But ask me if I care at all. I don't. Never ask for anybody's opinion. Be yourself. Somebody can relate to you. Next. YouTube is an investment, y'all. YouTube is an investment. When I say that, I recently I recently bought this book. And the book is an ebook. Um, it's from a content creator. I'm gonna put the book right here and I'm gonna show you her YouTube right here. Um, and then I know Salome, if you guys know Salome, she actually just dropped the ebook as well. But the ebook is basically giving you YouTube tips. But you're paying for it. And it's nothing crazy. It's like 25. I want to say I bought my book from Kalia. I want to say her name is Kalia. I want to say I bought the book for $30. That's not bad. I want to say someone was selling hers for $30, $25. That's not bad. How do I feel about the book that I purchased? It was useful. I learned some stuff that I would not have learned on YouTube. Some people gate gatekeep a lot of things. So I needed that. I appreciate that. She walked me through how she felt and everything throughout the book. It was very helpful. Camera, y'all, stop trying to keep up with everybody with the, the, the G7X, whatever the heck the can is. Buy ebooks. When it comes to hauls, guys, if you're like me, listen, I have to pay everything on my own. Y'all see my hair? Y'all see it. My nails is not done. My bedroom is not giving the whole aesthetic, but I wanted to give no none of that. When it comes to this is gonna cost some money. Hauls, I don't have extra money on the side to just go like, let me go shopping on Sheen, shopping on Tumo, shopping on Brave Little Things, drop a bag on Vitamins, drop a bag on Skins. That's gonna be some money. Until you get sponsored, that's gonna be some money. I don't have too much money. I really don't. But I work with what I work with and we go with it. We go with it, we flow with it, we do all that. Invest in it. Number nine, titles are important. Make them searchable. You don't want to have this long and dragging title. Keep it short, cute, and sweet. If you're doing a what's in my iPhone, what's in my iPhone, 14 Pro Max, boom. Attractive thumbnail, boom. Cool, out the door. You're doing a vlog a day in my life, day in my life of being whoever, boom. You want it to be searchable. You don't want to type all of this crazy stuff into the, the title and that's your title and now we can't find the video. <clears throat> Number 10, you do not have to have a niche right away, y'all. I don't have a niche. If you go to my channel, I do not have a niche. I don't, okay? You do not have to have a year in and I don't have no niche. Okay, I'm fine, I'm doing okay. I'm growing, that's good enough for me. It don't have to be good enough for you. 
Number 11, being in public, you got to be comfortable being recording anywhere, in any setting, in any environment. Now, some stores may not allow you recording there. That's cool, whatever. But don't be afraid to be outside or in the club and you recording with your portable light. Because, baby, I'm pulling my portable light out in the club, okay? In the bar, wherever I am at to record. Why are you embarrassed? We live in a society where everything really runs around social media. You should be used to this by now, honestly. I just pulled it up on my laptop. I've been on YouTube officially for a year. I'm not gonna say it's been a consistent year, but it's been a year. Now watch the progression. Guys, I just decided to throw a voiceover in there. Um, because I noticed that I forgot to talk about the tags and talk about the bulk recording while editing this video. I'm so sorry that my voice sounds the way it does, guys. But bulk recording is basically, let's just say today is Tuesday. Let's say I recorded three to four videos today. I recorded more than one video today in the same day. That's bulk recording. You do that so that when it's days like right now like you don't feel good or something you already have a video to drop so you're still staying consistent you still have your schedule what are tags tags basically when you go into the youtube studio app and you're a creator you have the youtube studio app the youtube studio app allows you to see your audience to break down your views your watch hours the analytics about your channel basically it's a breakdown inside of there you can edit the audience such as like kids not kids friendly etc and you can add tags tags like hashtags like let's say you were doing a what's in my iphone and the hashtags you can put like hashtag what's in my iphone iphone pro max vlog like you could put just tags. It it's helped with you with them searching your title. Basically searching up your video it helps by adding the tags. I appreciate y'all for staying tuned into this video. I hope you guys liked a lot. If y'all have any questions for me, y'all know where to hit me at. I'm here always. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you are new here, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all stay safe out here in these crazy streets. I'm about to go ahead and lay it down. We did it. I'm about to edit. I love it. Y'all make sure y'all stay safe. We out.